Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a great day. This next video, I really wanted to take it back and show you how keeping it simple can be great. This progression, I think you're going to love it. And we do it in all the keys this time, so it's the first time we've done that. And understand that simplicity a lot of times is the best way to go forward whenever you're playing piano. So this is a great exercise for you to learn from. Take it and make it yours. And once you understand the process of it, it's, it's a killer little progression that you can learn and use in your music. So have a great day. I hope you enjoy the lesson and I'll see you at the end. What we want to talk about today is a, a simple progression that will allow you to play a crazy amount of music. If we're in C, it goes from the one down to the four. But I'm going to show you with a little bit of chord voicing and what I like to call the raise two. It's real evident like in country music and gospel and stuff like that. But it's a simple process, and it's basically where you take a C chord, such as this, and you raise the 2, which would be the E note here, and you put it here. So it's like this. Okay? Real, real simple. But this exercise will help you in learning all your key progressions, and what we'll do before the, before the program ends we will play it in every key and I'll show you what it does and how you can maneuver across the keyboard from the one to the four. Normally, most people would do this. From the one to the four. Instead of doing that, we're going to walk down like this. Okay. How we're going to do this, we're going to play, we're going to play a C fifth, open fifth, and it's a C and a G in the left hand, and then a three in the right hand. And to start out with, that's all we're going to be playing. Okay, so I'm going to show you how this works. The next cut note is actually a raised third five chord, so it'd be the G, but we're going to play the second inversion in our left hand. So it'd be B, G, and then D on the top in the right hand. The next chord is an A minor. Raised, raised second with an A and an E, and then your raised second right here. The next chord, we're going to move everything down to a G. And then the next chord is an F. So this is your whole progression here. Hear that tone? That's just, that's some great, great essence there. That's just amazing. The only other thing that we're going to do on this is we'll add a high G to this. And it's real, this is what gives it that, uh, like the icing on the cake, like I always like to say. So we go. So I'm playing it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. And you're playing... The G note only, okay? So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two. Now I am cheating a little bit and I'm playing the playing that, but I'm also adding a C to it. 
like that. So I'm giving it an add to um, in the F. I'm going to play it one more time for you. So count with me. One, two, three, four. 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 So that's, that's how, that's the whole lick right there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play that lick in every key. Give you an idea how this goes. We're going to play it first in C. And then we're going to start in F. And we're going to come down and play F, C, A. And then we're going to go. C, B minor, hear that tone, and then the next chord is B flat. For right now, we're going to go back and we're going to start at C and we're going to play through the whole chord progression. I don't usually do this, but for this example, I'm going to play through all the keys and show you how this goes. And this is what I want you to work on. B flat. E flat, A flat, C sharp, F sharp, B. E, A, D, then G, there you are, and we're back at C. So I want you to learn this, and I want you to learn it in every key, your C sharp. Be C sharp, A flat, and F. Real simple. I know I always say that, and you probably hate me for saying it. But trust me, you learn this and play it, put it in your memory on how to do this because it will make you a killer piano player to be able to play pretty much any song you want to do. That's the whole fundamental of the 30 Days to Great Piano is that we want you to be able to play whatever you want to play. So one more time, I'm going to play this in C. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, liking this video. And it helps us go a long way in bringing this to more people. And I truly appreciate it. I'll see you later. Have a great day.